We're keeping our eyes glued on this because we know you are too. On the big board this morning, after yesterday's rock star session on Wall Street, you can see the Dow down 8.85 right now. It's down. It kind of got in neutral territory, like one point up just a moment ago. So we're going to keep an eye on that. So let's talk about how this affects your money. Emily Sanders is a chairman and CEO of Sanders Financial Management. And uh, Emily, thanks for joining us. Lots of people, lots of cheering after that 490 point one day gain. Everyone's asking, can it last? Yes, Don. Uh, it is a good question because uh, as we say to our clients, you've been very nervous the last few <laughs> months with all the volatility. Um, things are going up and down and gyrating. And yesterday was a response to a coordinated action among six central banks, the U.S., the UK, the European, the Canadian, the Swiss, the Japanese, to help lower interest rates um, for European bank lending. So when we've seen such volatility, when we've seen it go down so much, so it, when it goes up to positive territory, so take it in stride. Is that what you're saying? It doesn't, I mean, is this a long-term indicator of anything? Probably not. Okay. It's uh, an indicator to an action that happened yesterday, and the long-term trend is still very nervous. There's a lot of uncertainty in Europe, and um, you know, yeah. China lowered interest rates yesterday. So we're telling our clients to stay cautious. Even with the experts like you, you're, you're just saying, okay, keep it all in stride. Just keep it all in, in perspective here. You know, we've seen uh, big holiday sales lately, but weekly job numbers ticked up again, and uh, climbing back to over 400,000, and we're getting some mixed signals. When will we be able to tell if a larger economic recovery is taking hold here? Well, regarding the job numbers, Don, tomorrow is an indicator of uh, non-farm payrolls huh. that is released by the U.S. government, and that'll show not only unemployment claims, but also job formations. And yes, the 400,000 indicator is a benchmark, and we just went a little over that today in new unemployment claims. But basically, the unemployment rate is holding steady at around 9%, and we expect it to continue in that path. Okay. Honestly, are you optimistic? You're an expert. Are you optimistic of that we're in a recovery? We are in a recovery. The data has been better, but I am cautiously optimistic, Don, and um, I'm looking to the long-term signs like all the debt yeah. in the global uh, economies. Because everybody's looking for some positive news here, especially around the holidays. That's why I ask. So any little bit of encouragement you can offer, we ask. But we also want reality as well, if you don't feel that way. Thank you very much, Emily Sanders. We appreciate you joining us here on CNN. Up next.